Yo, monkeys, it's time for DDP Self High Five. Bang! I feel like I was sitting there right in your computer, pop my face right out there, and welcome to a very special episode of DDP TV. That's right. What makes it special? Well, how about this? Today, on this show, I will not only be interviewing, but working out with the one and only Rob Van Dam. This is Rob Van Dam. Also going to be working out and interviewing at the end of the workout. One of RVD's closest friends and MMA standout. I've seen him fight a bunch of times. He's a badass. His name is Justin the Insane One McCulley. I'm an ultimate fighter, bro. Fighting the cage for a living, dude. Like, yoga's gonna blow me up. <laughs> You're out of your mind, dude. I'm glad you brought it. And I brought, like, my B minus game, because I'm sure that's all it's gonna take, bro. Yeah. You're a funny guy, Justin. Uh, first of all, monkey, it's not yoga. It's my zero impact fitness. YRG. And I guess we'll see if your B minus game's gonna be enough. <laughs> DDP. Welcome to DDP TV. By the way, I stole that from RVD TV, who just happens to be my special guest here today. RVD and uh, we're going to be doing some YRG. DDP YRG with RVD. Right. So, uh, RVD, you guys, you know, uh, uh, flexibility. You're the man when it came to that throughout your whole career. And uh, well, what really, on. let me ask you, what, what actually got you stretching? Because so many of the guys you know don't stretch, they don't do anything. What, what uh, got you actually like focused in? Were you like the flexible like that when you were younger? Or, like, um, I think it was maybe 11th grade that I had this health and fitness class that I was just really drawn to. At that time in my life, I was already focused on doing everything that I could to make my dreams come true of being a pro wrestler. How, how long, when, when did you like make that mental note, I'm gonna be a pro wrestler, when did that happen? When did that... Someone put that thought in my head. They specifically said, because I was such a big fan. Right. I, have, I think 14-ish, 84, 85, somewhere around. I was at my first live show at the Battle Creek Kellogg Center and I, I had a connection that got me like backstage, you know, where, where I got to be right. a wrestler. Are we definitely talking was, about WWF now? <laughs> I got to be right. a wrestler. How we done? We done with that? WWE. No. Yes, it was Killer Bees. Okay, Killer right. Jam. Right. Andre the Giant was there that night. Lethal Lanny Poffo was really, really inspirational for me because he thought outside the box. I just, right. I right. like that. You right. know. And um, I got to meet these guys. I was real excited. And this, this person, this inside person, she said, uh, you know, you should, you should uh, work out and, and train. And when you're 18, you could be a pro wrestler. And I was just like. I never even thought of that being possible. I was like, I, I could be a pro wrestler. Wow. She's like, why not? And I was just like, wow. Absolutely. So, you know, and any any kid who's watching this, you have like, since I was eight years old, I wanted to be a wrestler, but I never thought it was really possible. And then I tried it when I was 20, uh, 22, and it didn't work out for me. And then I came back as a manager at 31, and never thinking I'd ever be a wrestler, because I thought I was too old. I could be a manager, though. And then finally get that break at 35. And then my career not taking off till I was 40, where you are right now, you know? But I was just trying to hold back the hands of time. And hold back the hands of time. And stretching came in me for me. It didn't turn into YRG too much later. But if you're watching this and you have that dream and you really, you know, it's possible. We're both living proof because neither one of our daddies is a big name that pulled us in that gave us the break. So the following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Now, I was told by my guy who was filming this that it came across me talking about guys who are privileged because of their fathers have been able to get this break, get into the show. It didn't mean to come across like that. <laughs> mm. 
What I meant to say was, <laughs> there are a lot of guys out there that have that lineage and that bloodline, but there's bazillions of you out there who don't. And I don't want you to think that you've got to be your father's this one or your father's that one and have that bloodline coming in. Just like me, RVD, God, there's so many guys. Tommy Dreamer, Cena. What I'm saying by that is you can still make your dreams come true. That's what I meant by that. I will never be misquoted or have something read into me. So now I'll cancel you out with that. Bang. Proceeding announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. So knowing that, that we're self-made men who made it our own way, getting in here and getting, you, if you're gonna start with a dream, this whole part of what we're showing, stretching, YRG, yoga, whatever it is is gonna help you hold back the hands of time as you finally get to that spot. And it's great that you have that. So today we're gonna, we're gonna do the workout. We're gonna, I'm gonna interview Justin really quickly when he gets in here and then we're gonna start it up. And then we're gonna get with Rob afterwards because I want his gut feeling like right after the workout. So man, I'm looking forward Or this has been a long time coming. And, and, and by the way, like, I've been wrestling professionally, you know, like 20 years after being trained, you know, after right. having those matches at right. the kickboxing shows. And over the years, I've always, 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 always had wrestlers come up to me while I'm stretching. Man, Rob, I need to start stretching with you, and then, you know, but they never, ever do. <laughs> or they'll last like four days and I'll never see them again. And they're always bitching about how tight they are and stuff. So very few guys. Like us, realize the benefits. Glad to hang out with one. Learn from I'm glad you brought it. And I brought like my B minus game, because I'm sure that's all it's gonna take, bro. I mean like yoga. Come on. The ultimate fighter. Dude. No hey, way. Hey Justin! Oh hey! hey Did it be? What's up? Hey! We do some yoga today? We don't do yoga. Oh, YRG. Okay, say it with me. YRG. Dude, I put yoga in my protein shakes. Are you? <laughs> no way. <laughs> let's grab the heart bar, man. All right, all right. Sure. As you can see, DDP TV is going to the next level. Bang! That's right. But I'm not just doing it alone. I'm doing it with a buddy of mine named Matt Giorgio, who I'm now calling MG. MG and DDP. We're taking DDP TV to the next level, brother. That's right. And you're going to get to be a part of it. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, send it around. Send this all around. Because this is not just one episode with me and RVD and Justin McCulley. It's three. Because we got some awesome footage coming your way. Next episode, I will actually be finishing the interview with Rob Van Dam and then heading into the workout room where we're getting, getting funky like a monkey, to quote Dusty Rhodes. The bottom line is we'll be showing clips of that and then we'll be finishing off episode number three with some more of the workout, a little bit more of the interview, and then the after the workout. What happened? What was said? What went down? You're going to get to see it all. Now, this whole DDP thing I'm doing, DDP TV, it isn't just about you watching videos. It's about you winning shit. That's right. You winning shit. Like this right here. You could either win the classic superstars DDP, DDP, DDP version with the hair, or you could take the guy with a mullet. 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 Me. <laughs> How did one of you lucky bastards win one of these two awesome personally signed autographs? No, it's not personally autographed yet, monkey. You ain't won the damn thing. So how do you win one? Simple. You know, Cause you're not winning both of them. You win one or the other. So how do you win it? Simple. First of all, you gotta subscribe to the video. Once you've subscribed, you gotta hit the like button. Once you hit the like button, you gotta leave a comment. Yeah, you gotta leave a comment if you actually wanna win. And you got to put either bang or monkey in the comment. And one of you lucky bastards will win one of these super cool personalized DDP action figures. That's right. The very first one will be given out and it will be numbered. It'll be numbered with DDP TV on the bottom. No one's going to have this shit. Nobody but you. You. Got it? So, I'll see you next week. And it's been your pleasure. Enjoy the lead out. 
with RVD and Justin McCulley. I've worn so much sweat I had to keep moving around on the floor to try to find a dry spot. Ten.